Hey loves, today I am going to go ahead and go over FEMA's emergency supply list. This is a list of supplies that should be in everyone's home at all times. This list can also be found at ready.gov. Okay, so first up on the list is water. You should have one gallon of water per person per day for at least several days for drinking and for sanitation. Now the body can only last three days without water, so you wanna have more than three days worth of water. Next up is an extra battery charger for your phone or one of those battery packs, something to charge your phone in case you do get service. Also an essential is a hand crank radio. I can't recommend this enough. Go ahead and grab you one of these hand crank radios. Most of them are solar powered and you can charge your phone with that as well. This is not on the list, but I highly recommend grabbing a solar powered generator. They have different brands. They come with solar panels. With the gas being so high, uh, you, I mean, you can buy a gas generator, but I highly suggest just go ahead and grab one of these solar power generators. Yes, you're going to spend more, but it'll be well worth it in the end. Okay, so next is the flashlight. I highly recommend the solar powered flashlight versus the battery operated flashlight. And then they also have these solar powered lanterns, which is what I have. I have quite a few of these. I absolutely love them. They're solar powered as well and I'll leave the link below to these. Next on the list is first aid kits. I personally recommend that every home should have first aid kits regardless. Okay, so next FEMA recommends that you have an emergency whistle to signal for help in case you're in distress. So go ahead and grab one of these from Amazon as well. Next on FEMA's emergency supply list is dust mask. Um, dust mask should be in your home. I say keep one in your car. I think about September 11th and so many people that ended up dying after the aftermath from the dust that got into their lungs. So we should have dust mask on hand with us at all times. Next on the list is going to be moist towelettes, garbage bags, plastic ties, things for personal sanitation. But I love these compressed towelettes because all you have to do is add a little bit of water and they will open up to a napkin. So you can use that to clean yourself and for sanitation purposes, these are perfect. And they're septic safe. Next on the list is non-sparking wrench or pliers to turn off utilities. You should have these on hand anyways. You should have a hand-operated can opener on hand at all times to open your canned foods. Do not depend on an electronic can opener. Okay, so last on the list is local maps or road atlases. You should have this in your stash as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read off FEMA's additional items to consider adding to your emergency supply kit. Number one is prescription medication and glasses. Number two is infant formula and diapers. Number three is pet food, water, and supplies for your pet. Number four is important family documentation, such as copies of insurance policies, identification, and bank account records. Keep it in a portable waterproof container. Next is cash and change. You should have cash on hand at all times. And then we have the emergency reference materials such as a first aid book and information which is available on ready.gov. And then you have a sleeping bag or warm blanket for each person. Next, we have a complete change of clothes, including long sleeve shirt, long sleeve pants, um, sturdy shoes, consider additional clothing if you live in a cold climate. You should have a fire extinguisher, matches in a waterproof container, extra lighters. Next up is feminine supplies, personal hygiene items, and hand sanitizer. And then mess kits, paper cups, plates, and disposable utensils, paper towels, paper and pencil, books, games, puzzles, and other activities for children. Okay, so that's it for FEMA's emergency supply list, but I do have another list I'm going to create on my own. I'll create a second video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.